This Bell Roy card sleeve review will show you everything you need to know about this wallet so you can figure out whether or not it's the wallet for you. And don't worry, I've reviewed dozens of wallets. So if this is not the wallet for you, I'll make some alternative recommendations for better wallets that I think might better suit your needs. All right, let's talk about the gist of the Bellroy card sleeve. If you're not familiar, Bellroy is a sort of iconic brand at this point who make bags and duffels and all this different stuff, but they really got their name by making wallets. Their note and slim wallets have become borderline iconic at this point, but then since then they've got a new range of a bunch of wallets and this card sleeve being one of them. We'll start by talking about the material, leather. But Bellroy's leather is not like all leathers. Their leather is environmentally certified. Which means, and I quote, that the leathers are premium hides tanned under gold rated leather working group environmental protocols and then dyed so they age gracefully. On the outside of the wallet, we have Bellroy's signature beautiful stitching. It should be noted too, this wallet comes in seven different colors. So the color of the stitching will vary depending on the color of the wallet. But for me, the brown wallet with the blue sort of stitching, the blue white stitching all around, it's just a nice classy touch, man. On either side, we have a sleeve. Now you can put either cards or cash in the sleeve. I'm in Hong Kong, so I got some Hong Kong dollars. They fit pretty well there. And then I use my Chase Sapphire Reserve, a little bit of a flex there, uh, the most. So I'm gonna pop that on the outside. Now it should be noted that this wallet is advertised as being able to carry two to eight cards. But if you're carrying a card on the outside, it will compromise the amount of space and kind of make it a little bit tighter in this main compartment, which we'll talk about in just a second. Accessing these cards or this cash on the outside is quite easy. You got a little cut right there, which just get, makes it a little bit easier to grab whatever might be there. And it's not deep enough as to where anything will get lost. You can tell that Bellroy put a lot of thought into this design, making sure that it functions as well as it looks. Now let's talk about the most important aspect of this wallet, which is this middle compartment. Here I have one, two, three, four, five non-embossed cards, and you can see they fit in that center area very nicely and very securely. Now something to note about this wallet, if you're not carrying a card on the outside and you're just sort of carrying like two cards on the inside, you're going to have this problem. This is gonna be sort of similar with any wallets that sort of have like this sort of access point, right? And that's fine because you should just know that. If you've only got one card or two cards, don't get this wallet. But if you're, you know, balling a bit more, you got three, four, five cards out with you or six or seven like this, then it's a lot tighter of an experience. If you really, like if I like, like, like whipped this right now, I could probably send my cards flying in that direction. Um, but just know that it takes a bit of, all right, do you wanna test it out? Watch out. Everybody move! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Margaret. <laughs> One went behind you. But the good news is that there's easier ways to access your cards. You don't need to do like the karate whip move that I just did. We got this delightful little pull tab right here. And you can see we got uh, this pull tab and it's yet again, Bellroy's sort of tasteful design work. This blue bounces off the brown so well. And this pull tab pulls up nice and smooth, allows you to grab the card that you might need, and you can just go ahead and push it back down, and the pull tab also goes back in its place. Some pull tabs can be a little bit difficult to pull up or too easy. I think that this sort of meets in the middle where it has a bit of resistance, but it also isn't really like challenging you to open into close. A few last specs. These are the dimensions. It's backed by Bellroy's three-year warranty. And for all that, it runs about 56 US dollars. And it should be noted that if you're thinking to yourself, yes, I'm all about this wallet, 56 bucks, that's a steal. I'm buying one. Then we do ask that you do so with the first link in the description. And the reason is that link makes sure that you get the best price. And it also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you very much. So let's sort of roll it all together and talk about the overall pros and the cons of the Velroy card sleeve. Pro number one is that it uses premium eco-friendly leather. Pro number two is that it's minimalist yet quite functional. And pro number three is Bellroy's design choices, whether it's the light colored stitching or this powdery blue pull tab. Um, to me, I just think it looks cool. But I got some cons too. Here they are. Con number one is if you're not carrying too many cards, then they are definitely more likely to fall out. Con number two is that a wallet's like this. If you pull the tab and you got like a ton of cards in there, it's gonna just kind of be hard to know which card is where. So kind of a lack of organization. Lack of organization. That's what and con number three is that it's definitely more of a card wallet than it is a cash wallet. And remember, if you're taking all the pros and all the cons into consideration, you're gonna make a purchase. We do appreciate if you use the first link in the description. But let's say you're not quite sold. Here are some alternative wallet recommendations that might better suit your needs. Alternative wallet number one is going to be the Bellroy Slim Wallet. This is gonna be for you if you're looking for a wallet with a little bit more functionality. Kind of old school open and close wallet that still has the same awesome design and leather. 
To learn more about the Bellroy Slim, we actually compare it in the video to the Bellroy Note, another great alternative. You can check them both out by looking in the description below and you'll find a link to our full sort of comparison review. And alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Bellroy Flipcase. This is a great wallet for you if you're looking for something a bit more modern. See, it's kind of like cool. It's got these two side compartments. It does this. I love that. And it's also fantastic for business cards. To learn more about the Bellroy Flipcase, my current wallet of choice, at this point in time, I've reserved the right to change my mind. Go ahead and navigate on down to the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. And finally, sort of like an overall alternative is if you're still not sure, check out this video, which is our roundup of the best overall everyday carry wallets. In this review, we break down all the pros and cons of all these different awesome wallets so you can easily find the one that best suits your needs. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Aaron. This is Nomads Nation, and we'll catch you next time.